The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. We don't have a word for the opposite of loneliness, but if we did, I could say that that's what I want in life. It's not quite love and it's not quite community. It's just this feeling that there are people, an abundance of people who are in this together, who are on your team. When the check is paid and you stay at the tables, when it's 4 a.m. and no one goes to bed, that night with the guitar, that night we can't remember, that time we did, we went, we saw, we laughed, we felt. But let us get one thing straight. The best years of our lives are not behind us. They're part of us and they are set for repetition as we grow up and move on. I plan on having parties when I'm 30. I plan on having fun when I'm old. And any notion of the best years comes from cliched, should haves, if I'd, wish I'd. Of course there are things we wish we did. We're our own harshest critics and it's easy to let ourselves down. Sleeping too late, procrastinating, cutting corners. But the thing is, we're all like that. Nobody wakes up when they want to. Nobody did all of their reading, except maybe the crazy people who win the prizes. We have these impossibly high standards and we'll probably never live up to our perfect fantasies of our future selves. But I feel like that's okay. There's this sentiment I sometimes sense, creeping in our collective conscience as we lay alone after a party, or pack up our books when we give in and go out, that it is somehow too late. That others are somehow ahead, more accomplished, more specialised, more on the path to somehow saving the world, somehow creating or inventing or improving. That it's too late now to begin a beginning and we must settle for continuance, for commencement. What we have to remember is that we can still do anything. We can change our minds. We can start over. The notion that it's too late to do anything is comical. It's hilarious. We're so young. We can't, we must not lose this sense of possibility because in the end, it's all we have. We don't have a word for the opposite of loneliness, but if we did, I'd say that's how I feel right now. Here with all of you, in love, impressed, humbled, scared, and we don't have to lose that.